If you are anything like me, then after coming across a kitten, you have probably experienced the irresistible urge to hug it and pet it. But why do we find kittens so cute? As it turns out, behind their cuteness, there are powerful semiotic forces at work. One of the earliest people to describe the cuteness of kittens as a phenomenon was Charles Darwin. He believed that there must be some kind of force that makes the adults of a species take care of their young. This idea was followed up by the ethologist Conrad Lorenz, who proposed the concept of the baby schema, which describes a set of features that make living things cute. Big eyes, a round head, and chubby cheeks. All of these features can be clearly seen in the face of a kitten, which prompts us to want to take care of them and love them, despite them being from another species entirely. This response, however, is not just determined by the visible features of a kitten, but takes into account all of our senses. When we pet a kitten's soft fur or see it clumsily playing, then all of these activities together influence our understanding. Social aspects, such as curling up and falling asleep in our laps, or rubbing up against our legs, also trigger our caretaking instinct towards the kitten. The features that make a kitten cute do not just affect us in the biological realm, but also in the cultural one. This explains why characters such as Hello Kitty or Pusheen can seem cute to us. Research on cuteness has many different applications in animal conservation, marketing, product design, and even robotics. If you want to learn more about phenomena like cuteness, or engage with problems like why humans find some species ugly, or how humans could better communicate with their pets, make sure to check out the course Zoosemiotics offered at the Department of Semiotics, University of Tartu. That way, the next time you come across a kitten, you will understand why you cannot resist its cuteness.